2.1c, prime factorization. Prime factorization is a product of prime numbers. This means that for the number 6, its prime factorization would be 2 times 3. Product just merely means multiplication of the prime numbers that make up the number that we are factoring. To find a prime factorization, we divide by prime numbers. Let's look at this in example one. Example one asks us to find the prime factorization of 360. We will start by using a method called a factor tree. This is where we split this number into two numbers that multiply together to make 360. Since 360 ends in zero, I know that a two must divide evenly into it. Two divides into 360, 180. If you're not sure how many times it goes in, but that, but just that it is evenly divisible, you can go to the side and do a quick long division. To see that it divides in 180 times. We then circle or highlight the prime number and we continue to factor the other number. We see it's also even and two goes into 180 90 times. We highlight the prime number and we continue to factor the composite number. It is still even so we know that two goes into it 45 times. We highlight the prime number and we continue to factor the composite number. 45 ends in five, so we know a five goes into it nine times. We highlight the prime number and we continue to factor the composite number. Nine is three times three. We have now found all of the prime numbers in 360. We can now write them all out in the list usually going from the smallest to the largest. There are three twos, two threes, and one five. There are more than one digit that are the same, such as three twos. We use exponents to show this, and we write it as two to the third times, there are two threes, so three to the second times, there's only one five. This is the prime factorization of 360. If we were to multiply these all back together, we will get 360. Let's look at example two and a second method of finding the prime factorization. In example two, it asks us to find the prime factorization of 1224. We'll start by writing 1,224. In a division ladder, we start by doing an upside down long division symbol. Then we pick a prime number that will go into 1,224. From our divisibility test, we know that two divides evenly in because it an, ends in an even number. Two goes into twelve six times, two goes into two once, and two goes into four twice. If you're not sure how to divide this in, remember you can always go over to the side and do standard long division. And then write that number underneath. Next, we see it is still an even number, so it divides by two again. Two goes into six three times. Two goes into one zero times. Since it went in zero times, we actually have to ask two goes into twelve six times. 
Once again, it is still ends in an even number, so another two can be divided in. Two goes into three once. Two goes into zero, but remember, is it really zero or was there a remainder from the beginning? So if you're not sure, always go over to the side and do a quick long division. Two goes into three once, but remember, that makes a ten. Two goes into ten five times, and two goes into six three times, which means the number here is 153. Next, we see that it's no longer even, so we now have to try the next highest prime number, which would be a three. Remember, to decide if it's evenly divisible by three, we add up each of the digits and see if the sum is divisible by three. One plus five is six, six plus three is nine, and nine is divisible by three, so this whole number is divisible by three. Three goes into fifteen five times, and three goes into three once. We now continue factoring. Fifty-one also has a three that goes into it, because five plus one is six, and six is divisible by three. Three goes into five once, with two remaining, which would mean there's actually twenty-one. Three goes into twenty-one seven times. Seventeen is a prime number, and therefore we can go no further. We can highlight each of the prime numbers that we found. If you find any of the numbers you used to divide are not prime numbers, then you have not found the prime factorization. Remember, only divide by prime numbers. We now list them as two times two times two times three times three times seventeen. But remember, if there's more than one, we must write them as exponents. So this would be two to the third times three to the second times seventeen. We have now found the prime factorization of one thousand two hundred twenty-four. Remember, a prime factorization is a product of primes or primes multiplied together. And to find the prime factorization, we divide the number by prime numbers that evenly divide into it. And then we list our answer using exponents if there are more than one of the same number listed.